Hi everyone. So today's tutorial is going to be about GN nodes. In this particular case, it's going to be GN5 from Campsys Genetics 5. So, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect it to your Mac and also how to update the firmware of Genetics uh, device. So first of all, what you need to do is you need to have Genetics uh, uh, hardware, uh, something like a GN2, GN5, or GN10. So then what you do is you go on to the Campus's website, campuslighting.com. Okay. Then after that, you go to products, genetics DMX nodes. So first of all, we're going to download the new firmware. Okay. Then you go to, for example, in my case, Gen genetics GN5. You scroll down, 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 and there's going to be, uh, a link here says download latest firmware. So when you click on it, it will download it into your whatever folder it's supposed to. Normally it's like downloads folder. Right. Then what you do is you take that file wherever it's downloaded. So normally it's download downloads. You copy the file. Then you go to the documents magic U folder, open the firmware folder and you drop the file here. So this is the file that I dropped, 51000 So it's version 2.1 is the latest at this point, uh, firmware version, firmware update for uh, genetics, GN5, GN10, and GN2. Okay, right, after that. So I'm running the Magic Q software in the demo mode. The reason being is because I haven't set the correct network addresses to connect to my GN node. So right now you will see here on the screen that uh, the IP address of my genetics node is starts from 10, 10 10.217.138.210. So it's a 10 range of IP address. So what I need to do on my Mac, first of all, you need to have an adapter. If you're using the latest MacBook Pro, so you need to have an adapter to have USB-C into the network, Ethernet port. Then what you do is you open settings. In the settings, you need to go to the network. In the network, for example, I have my uh, USB-C to uh, network adapter. When you click on this, you will be able to set IPv4, uh, IP version form uh, manually. So if you go to the details, uh, if you go to the details, then you go to TCP IP, and here you can set it as manually instead of DHCP, okay? Then IP address you need to set uh, into IP range that's gonna be compatible with your genetics node. So in my case, Starts with 10 because you can actually manually uh, change it. So it starts with 10, for example, 10, 0, 0, 100. And the subnet mask should 100% match. So it's a 255 triple zero. In this case, the first number should match the same as on your Mac and on the genetics node. All other three numbers uh, doesn't matter because your subnet mask is going to be only 255 and then triple zero. Then you press OK. So when you press OK and it's get confirmed, then whilst the magic is still in the demo mode because it doesn't see the genetics node, you have to go to the setup. Then you go to the view settings. Then you go to network. And as soon as I will choose the right adapter, you will see the demo mode will disappear. So in IP address, I double click to look for the right adapter that I need. And this is the right adapter that I need. These are the Wi-Fi adapters. I click on this. And when the Magic Cube gets recognized, uh, Magic Cube recognized by GN and GN sends the code to activate, remove the demo mode. You see now it takes like five, six seconds. And then the demo mode has been removed. So that means now all these options become working and valid for you to use. So what we need to do now is we have to go to the DMX view, uh, view DMX IO, 
or if you're running the latest version, even from that window, you can press the button called View Manager. But let's say you're using the older version. So you press View DMXIO. And here, there's going to be an option. Here, it's called, it's called uh, Net Manager. And this is the Net Manager. So when you click on the Net Manager, under the View CamNet, under the Devices, you will see your genetics device. That's going to be genetics, GM5, detected, and all this lot. Okay. So I'm not going to go into the, all the options here. For this, I'm going to make separate tutorial. But today, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware. So at this moment, the firmware shows version 1.04. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to, uh, sorry. Yes. What we need to do is here, you need to press upgrade device. Okay. And then it will detect the firmware versions that I've already dropped into my firmware folder. And that is the version 2.10. So when you click on this, it starts upgrading the, the firmware. Your, uh, your GM device will show you like it's gone into the boot mode. Then it's going to show you like it's downloading something. We'll just, I'm just going to skip to the end when everything is done. So uh, genetics. Gen 5 device that I've been upgrading has been upgraded. So now it's running the latest version and you can see here on the screen, it shows firmware 2.10. Okay. This is how easy it is to actually upgrade any genetic device. That's all for today. Have a lovely day and uh, please subscribe to my channel and press like if you like the video. Thank you. Have a good day.